London. Evidences are mounting that China's infamous 1989 Tiananmen Massacre as our capital press, and, subsequently, our history books, call it was a Western propaganda hoax to promote quick regime change China. Telegraph, WikiLeaks, no bloodshed inside Tiananmen Square, cables claim. Yes, gory riots took place during the night of June 3rd to 4th, but elsewhere, and all over, in Beijing, not in Tiananmen Square it seems. On the Avenue of Eternal Peace, on the northern edge of the square, protesters were being killed by machine gun fire, but not at the monument. N. D. Christoff, The New York Times. At that time, however, the privileged Western journalists, and agents, seemed to have resided in expat hotels overlooking Tiananmen, so Tiananmen had to be where the massacre desperately needed to take place, Tiananmen means gate to heavenly peace. Great tragedies deserve great monuments, no? Tiananmen Massacre is quite catchy and quickly resonated with Western diplomats, historians, and journalists majors. It was, and still is universally evoked for all kinds of massacres, and white times, Chengdu had its own Tiananmen Massacre, even if the probability is hardly more than zero, Vox News, the risk of a Tiananmen-style massacre in Hong Kong is remote. But it's not zero. This is not to deny the bloodshed. It is just that, we cannot and we must not trust the damn facts in our propaganda press on both sides. Worse, if Western readers obviously can't trust the plotting media, or if they have the feeling that our press, which is evidently in it for the money and selling copies, is fabricating facts to fit the Western interests for regime change in China, e.g., the political and justifies the journalistic means. That's precisely when conspiracy theorists and revisionists have spring time. Did you know that there's an entire The Massacre that wasn't motion on the internet? The Economist carefully avoids the M-word, or shall we say it corrects massacre and calls it protest. As opposed to other, bolder media such as The Guardian or Foreign Affairs or The Times, kudos to that. But does it also believe it? The propaganda rag is already mounting its promotion of violence in Hong Kong and the shoehorning of Xi Jinping's China's new Mao Zedong, beware of the cult of Xi. Just saying.